What's going on guys? Kalipas Tech here coming back at you with another video. In this video, I'm going to be giving you a quick tutorial on how to take a screenshot with the Samsung Galaxy A12. This is a pretty basic function, but every phone has its own unique little way to do it and a few settings to go along with that. So I'm going to show you how it works on this phone. Let's get into it. So the way you take a screenshot with this phone is simply by pressing the power key and the volume down key at the same time, just like this. And then this little toolbar is going to show up where you can edit the screenshot. So if you want to crop it or something like that, you can easily do it. And then once you're done, you can either share it or save it. So that's how you take a screenshot but I'm going to show you some other settings that you might find useful to improve your experience while taking screenshots with this phone. So we're going to go to settings, advanced features, and screenshots right here. And now we have a few options. Now by default, the screenshot toolbar is on and that toolbar is the one that you saw when I took the screenshot in the beginning. So if you don't want that to show up every time you take a screenshot, then you can turn that off. And now when I take a screenshot, nothing is going to show up in the photos automatically going to be saved right to the gallery. Now another cool thing you can do that goes along with that is delete shared screenshots. So a lot of the time when you're taking a screenshot, you're specifically taking it to show somebody. And once you send it to the intended recipient, you don't really need it anymore and it's just cluttering up your gallery so you can actually have it automatically delete from your phone as soon as you send it to the recipient and that way you won't have to worry about going back into your gallery and deleting all the old screenshots you don't need anymore. So to do that, all you need to do is toggle this on and that's pretty much it. Now when you take a screenshot and share it with whoever you're gonna share it with. That screenshot is then gonna be deleted from your phone. The other thing you can do is hide the status and navigation bars. I think this is a really cool function, and I feel like unless you're specifically taking a picture of the status bar or the navigation bar, you might as well just turn this feature on and leave it on. It's actually really cool. So I'm gonna take a screenshot of the home screen, and now, when I go to the gallery, the screenshot is exactly how it normally would be, but there's no status bar and no navigation bar, so it looks so much cleaner and just that much more professional. If something comes up where you do have to take a picture of either the status bar or the navigation bar, you can always turn this off as well, and it'll go back to how it normally is. And the final thing you can do with screenshots is change the format of the image to a PNG because depending on what you're doing with the screenshot, a PNG might actually be a little bit better. Some phones have a cool extra way to take a screenshot, like those Motorola phones where you can put your fingers on the screen and it'll take a screenshot, or some of the higher end Samsung phones where you can swipe it, or the palm screenshot, which that's probably the most useless alternate way to take a screenshot in my opinion because it only works half the time, but unfortunately, this phone doesn't have any alternate ways to take a screenshot, but it's still really easy. With some phones, you actually have to hold these buttons and instead of press them, but with this phone, all you need to do is just tap them lightly and it'll take the picture. Super easy, really nothing to it, but that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you found this tutorial useful as well. If you did, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And as always, I will see you in the next video.